What's up, soy boys? My name is James Reeves. You're watching TFB TV mail room number. I don't know what, but we got to be getting pretty damn close to 50. I just got back from SHOT Show, and I got to tell you, every time I go to SHOT Show, I honestly get about, I want to say, like five to six hours of sleep a night. I enjoy it. I love SHOT Show. I work my ass off. I drink my ass off and I end up not getting a lot of sleep. I actually got a sleep score of two out of 100 on my Garmin Phoenix, if you can believe that. So, didn't work out too well for me, but I do love SHOT Show. I saw a lot of you guys there. Always love seeing you dudes. Always say hey to me if you run into me. Today, we are drinking Rally Cap Handmade for the Home Team Ballpark Breakfast. This is a sweet stout with maple syrup Cinnamon and vanilla. Mmm, this I, I knew this was gonna be bad, but I bought it anyways. I figured it was gonna be fun. Let's give it a shot. I don't know about this. Mmm. Tastes a little bit like one of the chefs from the cinnamon toast crunch box sharded in my mouth. So technically, this is the January mail room, but again, shot show, really hard to fill a mail room on time cut me some slack. That's important because we do monthly giveaways to our TFB TV Patreon and subscribe star supporters. I may be late, but I never forget. Now I'm about to go through a bunch of announcements, but there's a lot of giveaways and stuff that might be interesting to you. If you want to skip all this bullshit, I'll put a little chapter marker down there so you can just kind of skip to the mail opening. However, I promise it's worth your time. Let's get the really boring stuff out of the way first. Gun giveaways and belt giveaways. Every month we give away four belts to four Patreon or Subscribe Star supporters at any level, one, two, five, or ten dollar per month. You're automatically entered, you don't have to do anything, and you've got a chance to win one of four of the one hundred dollar blue alpha gear gift certificates that we give away for a hundred bucks every single month. The four one hundred dollar blue alpha gift certificate giveaway winners this month are you, you you and you. Mm -hmm. Big sip for the big one. This is the one where we give away four guns given to us by Top Gun Supply. If you're at the five or the ten dollar level at Patreon or Subscribestar, you are automatically entered. You don't have to do anything. I have this all populated into a spreadsheet. Random.org selects four winners. Completely random every month. We've gotten to the point where a couple of you have actually won twice, which is freaking bananas. Winner number one, Winner number two, winner number three, and winner number four. Funny enough, we have a bonus $350 Top Gun Supply giveaway to give because of one of your fellow Patreon slash Subscribestar members. So last month, Joachim, jo Joach Joachim, Joachim, or something like that, J-O-A-K-I-M, he won, turns out he cannot redeem a free gun. It's a shame. Hi James, thanks for your email. Sorry for the late reply. I've been busy with the holidays and whatever. I'm very honored. He bolded very. By the random draw, couldn't believe it when I saw the video. I love that. That's my favorite thing is everybody is always like, oh my god, I've never won anything before in my life. Very honored by the random draw. Couldn't believe it when I saw the video. Been a sponsor on Patreon and Subscribestar. What a stud for a couple of years because I enjoy your content that much. Unfortunately, I live in Sweden, or Swedistan, and I think it's near impossible to get a gun through customs <clears throat> without spending some considerable time in our exceptionally good prisons over here. Yeah, I hear that you get foreplay before rape. So I wonder if it's possible to throw my gift card back in the mix for the next mailroom and give another guy a chance. If it's indeed possible, all I ask is that in the next mailroom, that would be this one, Give a quick shout out to my boys in the Swedish National Guard. Regards, Joachim. So shout out to you boys in the Swedish National Guard. Can I get some Swedish National Anthem playing in the background here? I like Swedish fish. I mean, the, the sugar-free kind from it's like Smart Sweets or something. Those are pretty good. Swedish meatballs are incredible. Had some the other day. Um, Ikea, is that, is that Swedish? And uh, uh, Swedish Chef. Swedish Chef, all great things that your country has provided. So we are going to 
do a little $350 gift card giveaway. Going to be a fun little comment contest. I'm going to mention it in a minute. We're going to come back to it. So just sit tight for one second because there's something very important I want to talk to you guys about. 5.11, you guys know, have sponsored me for a long time. I drink, I curse, I generally act like a dick. And for some reason, these guys have been by my side for a long time. And I really love 5.11. I've been begging them, absolutely begging them to do something I call the Norris Tourist. Pretty clever, I know. I came up with it. The Norris sneaker that 5.11 makes is probably one of the best shoes out there. That isn't because I'm a paid shill. That isn't because... 5.11 told me. I have literally bought them with my own money. I'm so ashamed of how many I have. Like I've got like six or seven pair. I've talked about it ad nauseum, but just look them up. The Norris sneaker is absolutely incredible and it is a product that James J. Reeves, I stand behind. So I wanted to do this thing where I hide like patches or tokens around the world and people, if they find them, they can redeem them for a pair of Norris sneakers, which are like 100 bucks. So they finally signed off on it. They agreed to do it. For 2022, we're going to do the Norris Tourist giveaway. It's going to be like geocaching. I am personally going to hide like either TFB patches or 511 patches or something around the country and around the world. If you find one, you get a free pair of Norris sneakers. So follow me on Instagram at gunshorts or Twitter at JJ Reeves. I know everybody hates social media or whatever, but you know, that's how we'll, I'll, I'll post it on YouTube as well, like in the, um, uh, maybe in like YouTube shorts or something like that. So everybody can get in on the, the fun and games. So as an unofficial little kickoff for the Norris tourist, <laughs> that is really stupid, isn't it guys? I, I'm, I'm sorry. But as a kickoff, what we're going to do is we're going to give away a pair of Norris's right now. Get in the comments. Post what you would think is the best color combo. That is like colors of the fabric and colors of the sole and why. Post that in the comments. 511, the guys at 511 are going to personally, guys and gals of course, personally review all the comments and they're going to pick the best one. They're going to send you a Norris sneaker. So whoever the winner is, I'll pin it to the top. You send them your address and you get a pair of Norris's, my favorite shoes in the entire world. All right, so enough announcements. Let's open some mail. All right, this one from San Antonio, Texas bothers me a lot because it's addressed to my wife. Flattery, if you want to get to the top, prepare to kiss a lot of the bottom. It's like the key to marriage. Lindsay, yo, I hear you're a big fan of DD, David Duchovny. Here's a little something from all of us. Thanks for putting up with James and all of the TFB TV fans. Gene, Gene, looks like Gene. Go to YouTube and search Bree Sharp David Duchovny. I love it. The man, the myth, the monotone. Lindsay would genuinely leave me. There may be three, four, seven guys that she'd leave me for. David Duchovny is definitely one of them. Thank you very much. Like seriously, I can't wait. Lindsay's at her gym class or whatever right now. Can't wait till she gets back so she can see this. Thank you. John S. Candler, North Carolina. Never heard of it. We are perfect together. And then I flip around to the back. It says, one butthole to another butthole. Sorry, not sorry for this card. Please don't be goddamn anthrax. Jesus, I thought that was never going to end. Oh, my God. I know you have many pussycats hanging around you. Geronimo, Lord Lewis, <laughs> Louis. Oh, my God.
Geronimo is our orange and white. Uh, Josephine is our tuxedo. And right now we're fostering little Mr. Moon Pie. He is a foster cat that we have, like all black cat, super, super sweet. Really like him a lot. Krinkov is our Siamese. He's an outside cat because he pisses on goddamn everything and he's forever years old. Louis, Louis Lou Chains, he is a failed foster. We took him in to foster him. Um, he likes to piss on stuff too, so he's an outside cat. We also have Horatio, who you guys have never seen. Horatio, outside cat. He's a stray that we just take care of. Um, so yeah, that that pretty much does it. It's a lot of goddamn cats, I know. Pussy in one hand, strawberry beer in the other. Be safe, brother. Mr. James, the one man that makes me moist. I love those shorts you got hanging on your backside. Your admirer, Johnny Boy, number five. Thank you, Johnny. And by the way, I'm really sorry about what happened to the card. It had to happen. It wouldn't stop. I want to open this one, even though we're going a little bit out of order because I've got some older packages that are all behind the camera. I mean, this is only what I picked up at the P.O. Box today. But um, this one is from Brian Marshall. Brian Marshall, if you guys saw the Styre Aug videos, he is the instructor for Styre at the Styre Academy. Very humble, very modest guy, extremely overqualified, and dollar for dollar. Even though you're stuck with the Styre Aug, which is a great platform, even though you have to use the Styre Aug, like in terms of this man's qualifications versus how much you pay for it, I think it's like 600 bucks or 300 bucks or something for like a two day course in Alabama. Um, it is a huge value. And if you have an AUG, like I think it's mandatory that you take his class. So he sent me a package and I'm definitely going to open it because uh, solid dude all around. Let's see, ammo can. Marietta Police Department. Oh, look at that. Marietta Police Department Challenge Coin. You guys don't know this, or you may not know this, but I keep a little stack of the Challenge Coins that you guys send me because, um, you know, I don't walk around with them in my pocket or any of that shit, but it means a lot, um, so I appreciate this, and this will go in the stack. Look at that. Some Styre patches, some Manicore arm stickers... Holy shit, Subsonic 5.7. I just got a box of 50 rounds of Subsonic 5.7. This is probably worth like 600 bucks right now. My God. Oh shit, and a really nice laptop bag. It says, this post-it note says, this is for Ryan. We didn't see that. I'm going to hold on to this. No, I'll give it to Ryan. So no letter from Brian, but Brian's words live on here. And in fact, you are about to get the top five tips for operating your AUG straight from Brian on TFB TV in a week or two. Really looking forward to that video. All right, let's open one of these older ones. I get nervous whenever I see Amazon boxes because I always assume it's going to be one of your shitty sci-fi anime weeb fantasy books, fanfic, but this is not. Uh, you kill people with guns, I kill them with liquor, keep killing it. P.S. Glocks are for pussies from Dr. Cool Guy Esquire. Thank you, Dr. Cool Guy Esquire. Death and Company, the modern classic cocktail book. Funny story about this. I have been to Death and Company. So Lens and I went there. It was kind of cool. Got a little booth. Cocktails are great. And then I have right down the street... Uh, Turkey and the Wolf, which New York Times, I think, called like one of the best new restaurants in America a few years ago. Always line out the goddamn door. But they have this exact book right behind the bar. So this is very cool. And I literally will use this and probably fuck up every single recipe in it. Thank you, Dr. Cool Guy Esquire, by the way. Don't ever talk shit about Daddy Gaston like that again. Jolly James Reeves, Santa Clarita. California. Wishing you a Merry Christmas and a wonderful New Year. Lots of love, Scott and Kelly Ann. Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. P.S. Kelly Ann has not shot the Mossberg shockwave yet. Re mailroom 23. Obviously, that's about 25 mailrooms ago, so I don't recall. However, it would be very much appreciated if one of you guys would go back. I'll pin it for a bit. If you uh, can go back and find the Scott's reference here, 
to Mailroom 23. Thank you, Scott. Merry Christmas to you. I hope it was a good one. All right, I think we can do one more from Chris J in Chandler, Arizona. By the way, boys, by the way, I will be like Valentine's Day weekend, next weekend, like not this coming weekend, but the one after, like the 11th or whatever. Uh, Lindsay and I will be in Phoenix and Tucson. Who knows, maybe we'll do a little meetup. I know this is beer, and I also know that I got this shit like three months ago, I think. So I think it's about time to open it. It's gonna be crusty as hell. James Reeves, thank you for making TFB TV. It is the best show about guns. You're goddamn right it is. The content is most informative, and when you are goofy, it is funny and it makes me laugh. When I have a rough day, I can watch the show and feel better because laughter is the best medicine. I have included an Arizona beer for you to enjoy. Sorry it is not cold. Hey, man, it's all right. Laughter is the second best medicine. You want to know the first? That would be Papago Orange Blossom Mandarin and Wheat. Wheat beer with natural orange flavor. This actually sounds gosh darn delightful from Huss Brewing Company, an Arizona icon brewed with love since 2005. Thank you very much, Chris, and thank you guys as usual for watching. I don't know why you watch this. I mean, again, these rarely get over 100,000 views, so not a whole heck of a lot. I've got to stop doing them. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to keep doing them because you guys love them so much. So I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep opening your shitty packages and your uh, creepy books that you write and your sci-fi anime hentai tentacle fanfic and opening your shitty beers that you send me because I love you guys and I think you know that TFB TV means a lot to me the gun industry means a lot to me and you guys mean a lot to me just for watching so thanks a ton take care